Well, Thanksgiving is the number one day out of the entire year for cooking fires. And that's what we want to make sure everyone understands. This is the day to be prepared. What we try to show today is this is what happens if you're unprepared. You forget to take the turkey out fast enough. And also now it's still frozen, but you still want to deep fry that turkey. So you want to make sure everyone understands you got to prepare. Don't have the oil too hot. Don't do it under the patio. Don't do it in the garage. All the stuff you want to make sure that you're prepared for. And then in case you do catch something on fire, understand what to do. Call 911, get out of the house, close the door. All these things is what we're trying to make sure everyone understands so everyone has a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Right, and that's the big thing for us this year. We're expecting rain. You cannot defry a turkey inside the garage, in the house, or under the patio. Just in case something goes wrong, you can potentially burn down your house. It's gotta be outside, away from any combustibles. Even though it's raining, you know, go under an umbrella, just don't do it inside your house or inside your garage. Well, there's two things you got going on. If it's gonna rain, people wanna bring this turkey deep fry inside the house, which is really, really dangerous in case something catches fire. Now, it's, since it's gonna rain, oil and water don't mix, so if you're doing it outside and it starts raining on you, it's gonna splash over and then potentially catch fire. So this may be the year that you don't deep fry that turkey. Put it in the oven, put it in the smoker, somewhere else, but this might not be the best year to do a deep fry turkey. If you're cooking inside the house, make sure you have a three foot area around where you're cooking, no little kids are running by, and always, always keep Pay attention to your food, what you're cooking. Don't leave the house. Number one um, reason for house fires is unattended cooking. If you start seeing smoke from any kind of oil you're using, turn it down, don't put anything in it. And if you do have a grease fire, oil fire, do not put water on it. Just put a lid on top of it, turn off the burner, and then that's it. So you saw the giant fireball, and somebody standing within 10 feet of that, of that uh, fryer is going to suffer a large percent total body surface area burn because it would just be engulfed by the flames, and it would probably be third degree burns. And my suspicion is that person would be admitted to the hospital and probably have to undergo multi multiple surgeries. The oil is viscous and it's not water soluble. And once it gets on people, it doesn't come off easily. So, okay, so number one thing is make sure that the scene is safe, right? Don't walk into an unsafe uh, situation. Make sure that you're safe. Uh, stop the burning process and uh, call 911 and get the patient to the burn center as soon as possible. We think it's important that uh, anytime there's a, a burn of any size or depth, uh, to a uh, um, to any sort of structure that's of reasonable importance like the hand or the face or the feet across a major joint that those patients should come to the burn center to be evaluated. So stop, drop and roll uh, and uh, use blankets, clothing, uh, towels, anything that you can get your hands on uh, to get the fire extinguished and then as I said before 911 and transport to the burn center immediately. So the most common thing that we see are scald injuries, so hot liquids. Uh, and unfortunately, it tends to be relatively common in, in kids. Uh, kids in the kitchen grab a hold of a hot pan or uh, you know, a hot uh, uh, cup of coffee or tea or something like that. And all it takes is just a fraction of a second and you have a, a bad burn. The day before Thanksgiving is a great time to check your smoke alarms. Go around your house, check all your smoke alarms, make sure they're working so you can have a nice, safe and happy Thanksgiving.